Another very nice day in the south of France. Lovely morning. Just got the rods out. You know, just out there. Drops down. There's a nice little plateau. I think I'll just zoom in on my marker there. There we go. As it goes out, it drops down to about 30, 35 foot and then comes back up on a plateau there. It tops out about 19 foot and I'm um, fishing either side of that. Bit of grief with the markers here as always. There's loads of pedalos and canoeists and swimmers around and god anything that floats on the water they think it's theirs so I had to keep an eye on it all the time. Don't really need a marker out there but it's nice to have something to just to go by when you get out there rather than searching around for the high points and the plateau and whatever. The, the marker's right on the highest point in about 19 foot. And uh, then I just spread the rods out, two rods either side. Looks lovely out there today. Seen a couple of fish showing this morning. Not loads, the evening time seems to be the best. Had a nice 35 and a half pound mirror, scaly mirror, which I'll show you in a bit. And round to the rods. all pointing downwards towards the water. I mean normally this type of fishing I'd have rods up in the air but it's impossible with all the uh, watercraft they've got out here. Um, bullet braid straight through to a mono leader 25 pound bullet braid going down to a, a 30 pound mono leader just because the water's so clear it's it's um, less visible at the rig end. Line nice and tight but what I've had to do um, I don't know if you can actually see it off the the rod tips there. I've actually had to put the line down onto the bottom and put stones on the line. Water's lovely and warm, so it's no problem getting in here this time of the morning. Uh, and so the it's about three foot deep there. The line goes down straight under a stone. I mean, if I get a take, the line just pings off the stone and out. But believe it or not all sorts of pedalos and canoes that they come round literally right in front of the rod tips so they're a bit of a nuisance they haven't got much of a clue about fishing gear and all that so you know you just have to uh, do the best you can but but there we go it looks lovely chance for a fish today I reckon and uh, even if we don't get a fish today how nice is that to look at all day long it's lovely bit of swimming later on when it gets really warm it's going to be about 30 degrees today 31 something like that even the nights have been over 20 degrees and it's a shame to have to reel in have to reel in by about 10 o'clock but um it's a shame because you know as fish jump is when the activity really starts and uh right on last knockings it's it seems to be the best chance of the day but there we go them's the rules the Garde de Pêche did actually uh, do a raid on the lake last night and there's a few people around on the lake. I don't think there was many people fishing. If, if they were, then they ain't got no rods to fish with anymore, I shouldn't think. Uh, very strict on it this year. But there we go. I was all tucked up in bed. And the rods were put away as well. There we go. We'll see what today brings anyway. There we go. Hasn't been an easy trip. Um, just doing the days, getting up early in the morning and packing up at night. It's not easy fishing, but this one's made it worthwhile, 35 and a half. Um, first few days were a bit of a struggle, but we found some fish up here in the North Arm. There's a little plateau sort of behind where I'm standing, and uh, it's about 19 foot on the top of it. And a couple of amber strawberry, 20 mil, straight on the bottom. That's what this one picked up. And uh, we found a few fish now, so like I say it's not easy, but um, two or three days left, so we've 
might get a few more, but whatever happens, I've got a nice daily Cassian carp anyway, which is always nice. Right, we'll get a bag anyway. Oh, lovely. Hopefully, a few more where that comes. Right, just a quick look at the rig I'm using. Nothing special. It's always fairly basic stuff on the rig front for me. I don't get too technical, but there we go. It's two 20mm amber strawberry bottom baits. I like the white baits here in the summer because the catfish don't tend to eat them so much, or at least go for them. I have had one catfish, but in general they've worked pretty well. So there we go. Just two straight bottom baits together there. Um, hook is a size 6, fang twister, micro barb, and that's just not this knotted on there. And now the only thing I have done with that is put a couple of little bits of silicon tubing on the hook, one over the eye just to protect the knot, and the other one on the shank, so just for a blowback effect. But that's all it is, nothing special about that. Now, hook length is missing link gravel, 25 pound, using the gravel because it is a fairly light sandy bottom here and uh, it blends in pretty good pretty well and that hook length there you can see it on the rock and the bottom under the most of the bottom under the water is, is pretty similar so that's about 10 inches about 10 inch hook length a little bit of cling on putty about halfway up I've got a little bit of the coating stripped back about an inch and a half there and just a little bit behind that I've got the putty just to hold everything down just in case it floats up and that just goes up to a ring swivel and there you go nothing fantastic but it's a good bait it's a good rig and then it's all about putting it in the right place but it's it works for me there we go if we can just see that there that's my marker there. It's actually about 18 inches under the water. And uh, I've had to do that because although these little balls, foam balls, are only about two quid for half a dozen in any shop around here, as soon as you put them on the top, every pedlo within half a mile wants to nick it. And I had murders yesterday, so now I've put it about two foot under the water. And in the clear water, I can see it from quite a distance away, so I know where it is. Um, but importantly, Pedlos and canoes don't see it. So anyway, let's have a look at the spot. Now this is just off the end of the plateau. It comes up and drops pretty quick. We're coming up out of really about, well it comes from anything up to 100 foot out there, but it comes up quite fast on this plateau. And uh, yeah, 26, yeah, we're just going past the marker and yeah, 24 foot, it's about the spot I'm fishing. As it comes up a bit shallow, you can just, if you can just see that, it's a bit of weed on the top in about 22 to uh, 19 to 22 foot. Yeah, you can just see it there. And uh, it's not bad, it's not very thick weed, but the fish like to be around it, but I'm, I don't really want to drop my rigs right in that, so I'm, I'm getting just to the edge of it which is about 23 foot normally, 23, 24. Yeah, as you can see there, it's just coming up to 24 foot. And the weed, you can just see where it stops there. Uh, that's about where I'm dropping my baits. And yeah, so far so good. There's a few fish about, so a few days left as well, so there's a chance of a, another one or two, but that's the spot I'm fishing. Shows you, you never know when it's going to happen. 
rods have been out since first thing this morning. Looked good then, a couple of fish going, but nothing happened. And then in the middle of the afternoon, absolutely rod off just out of the blue. Not big, 25 and a half, but um, it's what we're here for to catch fish. And uh, there you go, we're going to pop some in the afternoon at Cassio. Well chucked with it anyway, nice bit of afternoon actually. Just coming up to the end of a, another lovely day. Had some fantastic weather in the last week or so. It's been a little bit funny before that. Um, we had some days where, God, every day it looked like it was going to absolutely chuck it down. We had thunder and lightning, quite a bit of it. And it never really come to much. We did have a bit of rain here and there. It was still warm for all of that. Didn't do the fishing much good. It looked like it should do, but it didn't particularly. But, um, you know, it always, it always looked carpy all the same time, but, um, it, you know, when you think about the south of France, you think about this sort of weather. And it has been warm, you know, 30 degrees plus every day. And the only downside of that, I suppose, you get a lot of forest fires. And there hasn't been so many this year. There's been the odd ones, and the water planes have been coming down on the lakes uh, for a few days, picking up water going off, and, and that's what they do. They land in the North Arm here, and... Uh, take the water off and, and dump it on the fires wherever they are you know you tend to get lots of small fires starting in this area and uh, that's the easiest way of putting the fires out rather than fire engines trying to get up into the woods and the forests it's easier to get a plane pick up the water and uh, dump it straight on the fire so you know they've been doing a bit of that but other than that it's been a lovely few days of just sitting here in the sunshine catching a few carp and having a really good time it's uh, never been a place like Cassian for me. It's, it's always been my favourite lake since I first come here, well, 27 years ago now. Still love it. And uh, it doesn't get any easier. You know, the rules change every year. There's no night fishing now at all, which is uh, making things a little... It's, it's all right this time of year. It's always been day fishing this time of year for a, quite a few years anyway. Um, the winters, it's going to change. But, you know, at the moment, the summers are, are still glorious. As you can see, it's lovely here. Nearly the end of this trip, but hopefully many more years of this to come. Certainly hope so, as I love this place. There we go.